Hey y'all, today we're gonna have fun with French toast. Okay, let me break this down for you guys. The first thing we're gonna do today is we're gonna take this thick cut Texas toast and we're gonna turn it into basic French toast, very simple. After that, I'll show you how to make our house butter pecan sauce, very decadent, very delicious, also very simple. And then for our third recipe, we're gonna do bananas foster French toast. Not as simple, but amazing and a little scary because we get to flambe at the end. Okay, so for our basic French toast batter, the first thing we're gonna use is eggs, followed by vanilla extract, half and half, ground cinnamon, ground nutmeg, thick cut bread, like a Texas toast, butter, and then optional powdered sugar and syrup of your choice. Okay, so that's the ingredients for the basic French toast. For a list of all the ingredients, check out the description below. So, to get started, the first thing we're gonna do is crack two eggs into a mixing bowl. <laughs> and I'm gonna whisk this a little bit. Get it a little bit mixed. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add one cup of half and half. A teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then I'm gonna go a quarter teaspoon of each ground cinnamon and ground nutmeg. Whisk, whisk, whisk. Very simple. All right, once that's fully incorporated, we're gonna get the pan heated up. We're gonna dip the French toast lightly, and then we're gonna start cooking in our griddle. Okay, so I got my little griddle here. It holds about four pieces of toast. I have it over a medium to low flame, and I'm letting that get hot. And then while that's heating, I'm gonna get a little bit of butter. And I'm actually gonna butter my pan. Um, if you wanted to, you could use uh, just regular vegetable oil spray. Uh, but butter tastes better. Why would you miss this opportunity? I'm gonna start dipping my French toast. And this toast is, it's fresh. So you really, you don't want to let that sit in there for too long because it's going to sog out. If this were um, like day old or purposely dried out toast, I would say, yeah, let it soak for a few minutes. But that is not the case. And it's, it's, it is soaking all the way through. But as you can see, like I'm not, I'm not letting it sit in there. It's, it's dip, dip, drop. Let's go two pieces of French toast per person. And it's gonna take about, let's time it. Let's say three minutes per side. Okay, so over a medium low flame, I've been going for about three minutes. And we're gonna turn this over. Oh, you are gorgeous. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, hello. Okay, let that go another three minutes on this side and then we will be ready to eat our basic French toast. Okay, now that it's cooked on both sides, we're gonna plate this up. We could either just leave it whole or we could do like we do at the restaurant and we just cut them into little triangles and we Throw on the plate this way. And then for just your plain French toast, you get a little syrup. I find that French toast eaters 
are often dippers. So we just leave that on the side for them to do as they please. And then a little powdered sugar. Et voila, done. Okay, now I'm gonna show y'all how to make butter pecan sauce. Very easy. The first ingredient that you need is butter, brown sugar, heavy cream, vanilla extract, salt, toasted pecan pieces, and powdered sugar. Um, I have a saute pan over a medium flame. And what I'm gonna do is add a stick of butter. So into that stick of butter, I'm gonna add a full cup of dark brown sugar. Um, if you don't have dark brown, that's fine. Light or medium will work. Whisk, whisk, whisk. Once that butter and the sugar are fully incorporated in with each other, I'm gonna add a full cup of heavy cream. That is decadent. And then once this is fully incorporated, I'm gonna put a pinch of salt. I'm gonna put just a little, like, quarter teaspoon of vanilla, three quarters cups of toasted pecan pieces. Make sure they're toasted, otherwise you're missing out on major flavor opportunities. Whisk. And et voila, that is the butter pecan sauce. We're gonna put that over our French toast now. Okay, let's plate up our butter pecan French toast. Normally in the restaurant we serve three full slices. I'd say a majority of people take leftovers home. So this is our home version. There's four pieces of our basic French toast, and then I'm gonna ladle the butter pecan sauce over that. Oh my God, what was I thinking? Look at that. Okay, you can put more if you want. You can put more on the side. You can take a bath in it, and then powdered sugar. You don't have to, but you know, why not? That's it, butter pecan French toast. Okay y'all, while we have the heavy cream out, I'm gonna show you how to make your own whipped cream. If you don't wanna deal with this, that's fine. Just get your favorite can of whipped cream. But this is so easy, it would be a crime not to at least try. So, super easy. You wanna get heavy whipping cream because you're gonna whip it. And it doesn't have to be exact. Let's start off with about a cup. And um, if you have a standing mixer or an egg beater, uh, you can save yourself the time and the energy and just use that. Um, or you can do like I'm doing right here and stand here for a few minutes whisking constantly. One of the things you want to make sure is that your cream is cold and your bowl is, your bowl is cold. Okay, now we're gonna make our version of Bananas Foster French Toast. 
For those of you who don't know, Bananas Foster is just a famous uh, bananas flambéed in rum dessert that was originated in New Orleans back in the day. Um, I take that same idea and I flambé bananas in a butter rum sauce and I pour it over French toast and we'll eat that with the whipped cream that you either just made yourself or you bought at the store. To start this recipe off, the first thing you need is a stick of butter, dark brown sugar, salt, rum, heavy cream, vanilla extract, and two bananas. Okay, we're gonna make banana foster French toast now. I got my pan over a medium flame, medium to high. So we're gonna flambe near the end of this. And you actually want the liquor to catch the edge of this flame and poof, burn off the alcohol. We're gonna start with a stick of salted butter. And we're gonna get this melted in the pan. Next, we're gonna add, while the butter's melting, we're gonna add another full cup of dark brown sugar. And we're gonna whisk this together. The butter and the sugar are gonna melt together to make a nice little sauce. To this, while that's melting, I'm gonna add a quarter teaspoon of kosher salt. You really want this, that sugar to not be like super in the front, but it needs to be there to balance everything else out so that it doesn't just feel sweet on your tongue. Next thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna add our sliced bananas. And you see how I sliced that and left it on the peel? La la, so much easier. Keep your board clean and your fingers clean for the most part. We're gonna caramelize these bananas just a little bit. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do, we're adding our rum. Hello. That's fine. And what that does is it brings a little flavor to it, gives it a little bit more of a brulee, and it also burns the alcohol off so that you're not getting your guests and your children drunk. Then you're gonna finish this with about a quarter cup of heavy cream and about a half a teaspoon vanilla extract. That's it, That's, this is enough for two. I'm gonna plate up one right now. All right, let's plate this up. I'm going two slices per person. If you were eating at my restaurant, you'd get three and you'd have to go home and take a nap. Cut these on a diagonal. And then we're gonna take this banana foster sauce and we spoon that right over. I like a lot of sauce. And then we hit that with a little powdered sugar because it's festive and delicious. And whipped cream seals the deal. There you go, bananas foster French toast. Full disclosure, when I first opened the restaurant, I wrote the menu before I'd actually developed all of the recipes. So I actually created this recipe on the morning that we opened because I thought it was a good idea in theory, but when, it, when someone actually ordered the dish, I was like, holy crap, I don't know how to make that. <laughs> so, so here we are, and it turns out that it was really delicious, so good on me.